Hey all, so a few people made a few comments about a video I made about X11 VNC on latest Ubuntu 20.04 uh, and it appears that after about 90 seconds it flunks out and stops working. So I've done a bit of research into this and these were my instructions from last time. Basically it's all to do with this type equals forking. If we change that to type equals, equal, equals simple I found that it gets rid of the problem uh, completely. So the original reason for forking was there was a process that started other processes and if we change it to simple basically it'll only start this once which is fine because we have the, the dash forever so it opens one process up and that process remains after disconnections. So I thought we'd quickly go through doing that. So this is my VM from last time. So if we open up a terminal, and then what we're going to do is we're going to nano into that folder, or that file rather, that we changed that contains all of the details about the service. Uh, so it's lib systemd, system, and then it's the x11.vnc file that we created. So it's x11vnc.service, uh, and in here we can see that it's type equals for, forking. So if we go down and if we change that to simple, and if we write that out to the file, and then the other thing we need to do is we need to reload the uh, system control, system D system. So you do that by system control daemon daemon reload. And then it should now be fine after a uh, restart. So I'll quickly restart this VM and then we'll have a look. Great, so now that's come back up, we should now be able to VNC in. I've got my VNC here and you can see that I can VNC in. Now I can leave this for a long time and it's absolutely fine. So I believe that's fixed the problem. And the problem basically was the system D was expecting a process to start. Then that process starts another process and then the original process is designed was, was supposed to go away which is what the forking type is but that doesn't happen and then when systemd looks to see has the original process stopped it hasn't uh, so therefore it issues a signal 15 which is a, a kill and then it takes out the, the VNC server which is why it would crash and then it would reload because as part of that system file we've also told it to to reload on failure Basically, that's why it was was dying, and that's why it was working intermittently. So that's the uh, solution to uh, to fix this problem. Thanks for watching.